I finally did it. I got this entire bed clear of grass. This is where my peas were and they got completely overrun with grass. And I had to take the entire bed apart and put it back together in order to get rid of that grass. Hello and welcome back to Never Blara Homestead. My name is Raul. Over the last couple of weeks I've been talking about cleaning up my garden. I've just finished completely uh, clearing out this bed and this monstrosity is my next task. So come along with me as I get my garden ready for winter. Well guys, I finally did it. I got this bed cleared out. Right, now it's time to tackle this monstrosity. Wow, look at that. This whole bed is clear and it took less than a day to do it. My wife came out and helped me and we actually got rid of all of the grass in the bed in less than an hour. And once that was done, then I had to clear up the grass from around the bed as well. Um, and I've got most of that done, still a couple of places that I need to remove grass. But it is evening now and we're running out of light. So I'm going to have to leave the rest of this for tomorrow, but tomorrow I'm going to come and I'm going to remove the rest of the grass and I'm going to put compost in this bed and the bed behind me. These are the two beds that I cleared of grass uh, today. Um, and then once they are full of compost, they will be uh, ready to sleep for the winter. Right, now that I've gotten rid of all the grass, now it's time to add compost. This is my own homemade compost. I use a modified Berkeley method to do my compost. Um, I did make a video on it previously and I will leave a link below this video. Um, and this compost is basically made from, some of it's from weeds and things, and but the majority of it is from bedding from my chickens and my ducks. It makes great compost. So let's get this compost into the beds.
thanks so much for joining me on part one of winterizing my garden. Next week, part two will come out and in that I will be taking down the tomato uh, trellises and cleaning up the corn and then the last two beds that I never touched this year, those I will be weeding and um, setting up as well. So don't forget to tune in next week to catch part two. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already and have a great day. Bye.